personally believe that uh, if I were to invest into further startups, it should all be in the space of augmented reality in whatever ways, either sort of in the wild or in a controlled environment like augmented reality in cars, for instance, I like could imagine. And it would probably be startups that have ideally a bit of both, right? Augmented reality technologies, a vertical, a specific application in this space. You know, the platforms will be coming, but they will need to be populated with content. So you will need content and applications. And they should have an element of machine learning and AI in it. So actually at this boundary. You have experienced a lot of hypes, uh, ups and downs in uh, computer science technology per se over the last 25 years. Yeah. So there was a hype of 3D and then a hype of virtual reality and we actually coming back multiple times trying to make it come back. So what do you think it is looking in the hindsight? What was exactly the hype and what was actually a very good technology that paved the road for the future? Yeah, it's very interesting if you look at uh, artificial intelligence. I've seen at least uh, three hypes throughout my career in AI and the current one uh, is a good one. It's not only a hype because all of a sudden uh, certain methods that have been invented in the past. So it's not so much based on innovation. There are also some innovations happened, but the fundamental concepts were around. But what works today is the amount of computation and the amount of data, because a lot of these methods are very data hungry. They need a certain computational complexity. If you can both accommodate, which we can today with our compute power, all of a sudden these methods work. And when we think of AI, they work in certain areas like computer vision, optimization for certain purposes, language processing to some extent. They work really well, but I still do believe that the real tough problems in artificial intelligence, such like truly understanding language, truly having a comprehension on how to represent and, and make interference on knowledge, that they remain hard. And so as such, we also observe that as for AI, it's already a little bit plateauing in terms of their achievements. What I believe is the next big thing is really what's called cyberspace or mirror world. That's the total digital overlay of the real world. It's, this is my personal opinion and speculation. It's a trillion dollar project. All the big tech companies are working on it. It will be a big race between California and Asia. And we in Europe are in the middle and we should give some <laughs> thinking of, you know, what this means for us. You know, in the future, you will have devices that are enabled, augmented reality devices, basically glasses you can wear comfortably over a long period of time. They will, they have graphic interfaces, they will augment your real experience. You will constantly capture and scan, as we say, slam the real world. It will be uploaded in real time through 5G into the cloud. And you will have this internal representation and overlay of the real world. And there will be multiple virtual worlds. You could think of an entirely new line of business. Imagine you can sell your physical apartments multiple times, you know, multiple times in the digital world. You'd sell it to the digital space of Apple, you sell it to the cyber world of Huawei, you sell it to the cyber world of Microsoft, and it might be inhabited by virtual humans, right? Maybe avatars of yourself or digital avatars or AI avatars. So what I'm thinking is this, especially sort of the combination of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and augmented reality, so the cyber world, this will be truly disruptive to our life. And I think it will be the ultimate platform eventually on which all entertainment, information, education, teleconferencing, telepresence, communication, everything will happen. Media formats. Yes, in multiple media formats, truly interactive and truly prosumer, because in this world, very much like on the web, everybody wants to be a consumer and also a producer, at least as for media and entertainment. And personalized. And it will be highly personalized, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm.